We are absolutely sure that a separate course on how to sneak food into class should be developed. Until then, we will show you new ideas of where to hide chips, sandwiches, and candies. Watch and take notes. Did your pencil lead get tired of writing and broke off? Let it recover using a sharpener. Take a sharpener and put cornflakes into the container for shavings. I open the sharpener and see crispy flakes instead of shavings. Bingo! I just wanted to chew on something. But Miss Smith needs to sharpen her pencils at a bad time. Well, now you can't tell the difference between the shaving and the cornflakes. Our breakfast has come to an end before we know it. And what about edible notebook decorations? I've got some. Take icing lace. Pull the sweet decorations onto a notebook cover and attach them using edible glue. The lace yummies are easy to take off the cover and fast to eat, unless the teacher notices something's wrong. My friend's gotten too hungry during the class. She's eating pages of her notebook. Put a notebook on a pile of flat bread and cut out pages. Unfasten a spring and take it out of the notebook. Put the cover on a piece of bread and mark holes for the spring. Punch the fastening holes. Put the front cover on the spring and then add the flat bread pages. Lastly, put on the back cover and fasten the spring of the notebook. I'm examining the notebook. There are flat bread pages in it. I'll take one. To make the flatbread softer, my friend wants to apply some glue. It's way too much. I don't need that. But she pours glue onto her bread and it smells like cheese-flavored white glue. Pour a cheese sauce into a clean and thoroughly washed white glue bottle. I'd rather cover my flatbread with the cheese glue sauce as well. Mmm, tasty. Miss Smith comes running when she hears the sound of munching. She almost has a heart attack when she sees her students eating glue. Stay calm. It's just sauce. The teacher takes away our food as she always does. Huh, the cheese sauce turns out to be just a memory. On the plus side, Miss Smith has something to bite during the test now. Maybe in this way, she will not notice that we are cheating. Sometimes you can find a surprise in a box of crayons. For example, a whole sandwich. Make a sausage and cheese sandwich. Take crayons out of the package. Cut the sandwich to fit the pack. Put it in and close the box. I take out my sandwich. It will help me survive this class. My friend wants to have a bite too. No way, Miss Smith may notice. The teacher hands out notebooks. Excellent, I swap a regular notebook for a special one that has a secret sheet protector in it. Mark the size of a notebook on a sheet protector. Cut out one side using scissors. We will put in chips through the opening. Cut the rest with a knife heated above a candle. The hot knife seals the plastic. Put the sheet protector into the notebook and attach it to the cover using super glue. Put flat chips inside. My secret sheet protector doesn't contain any spy information. On the other hand, it contains tasty and crispy chips. As for my friend, she's got a regular notebook. There are no crumbs in it. All right, I will share my chips with her. And when Miss Smith is looking at us, we pretend that we are busy writing. Math is a STEM discipline. You need your brain to work properly. That's why you can't definitely do without chocolate. We've sneaked in a bar of chocolate that looks like a calculator. Cut a bar of milk chocolate to make a square. Unwrap Frutella gummy candies and put them into a container. Put them into a microwave for 20 seconds. The melted candies are a flexible mass. Shape it into rectangle buttons and a calculator screen. While the substance is still warm, it sticks to the chocolate easily. Draw signs on buttons with a food marker. Break the calculator, gnaw a percent part, and I'll chew on fractions. 
Who knows, maybe after eating the calculator, we'll calculate in our mind faster. I still keep eating the calculator when my neighbor takes jelly stickers out of her notebook. Cut sugar jelly strips to be of the same size as stickers. Attach them to the pad using edible glue. Trim the edges and hide the stickers in the notebook. We are eating the stickers secretly while Miss Smith flies out of nowhere like a bee to honey. She starts questioning us and is eating all the stickers in the meantime. Moreover, she eats our chocolate calculator. Has she become a teacher only to take away candies from her students? My friends got a new accessory. It seems to be made by a squirrel cause it's a nut bracelet. Make through holes in peeled hazelnuts using a thick safety pin. Thread a needle with a double thread and tie a knot and thread hazelnuts onto it. Join the ends of the bracelet and fasten them with a knot. My friend bites off a piece of the bracelet in class. Be careful, don't break your teeth. Ah, I see, those are just nuts. By the way, they can boost your brain power. So this bracelet should be a part of a school uniform. My fluffy green keychain is not just an accessory, it's my little candy stash. Trace a cup on a piece of faux fur three times. Draw a line on the two circles. Make it slightly lower than the middle. Cut out two half circles and one whole circle. Sew one semicircle to the fluffy disc on the wrong side. Sew another overlapping half circle on top. Put a metallic ring inside and stitch it to the fur. Turn the fur right side out. It looks like a regular fur pom-pom. Put candies inside and fasten a keychain ring. I take candies out of my fluffy keychain and give one to my friend. No one will ever suspect that this tiny furball is keeping sweet smuggling inside. My friend's broken her pen. She's in urgent need of super glue. We'll need sugar paste of three different colors. Roll up the yellow paste to shape a cylinder. Press one end to make it flat. Trim it with a knife. Make a smaller cylinder from the white sugar paste. It will be atop of the tube. Shape the black sugar paste into a cone. It will be the cap. Dampen the sugar paste with a wet brush and join the details. Write the name of the glue on the tube using black food coloring. My super glue can't glue anything. On the plus side, I can have a bite of it during the class. Don't worry, it won't glue your teeth. I urgently need to erase a pencil. I take a mechanical eraser, but my friend takes it back immediately. I didn't even notice that there's a candy stashed inside. Take an eraser stick out of a mechanical eraser and put a licorice candy stick instead. Cut off the excess. My friend puts the eraser into her mouth and bites off a licorice stick, and the class just became a bit sweeter. My stapler isn't supposed to fasten paper. It stores candies inside. Open up a stapler and put Tic Tac mints into a spring indentation. I take a Tic Tac out of my stapler. It is definitely more delicious than metallic staples. And Miss Smith is cheating us too. She swapped thumbtacks for cookies. Take thumbtacks out of a box and put in little cookies. Why does the teacher take away all of our food, but she eats in class herself? Huh, the school life is so unfair. I highlight the most important notes in my notebook with a marker, but my friend takes a bubble gum out of it. Cut off a top part of a marker. Hot glue it to a rectangular bubblegum package. Print out a marker label and glue it to the package and put on a cap.
I take Hubba Bubba out of the marker. Except that it is not allowed to chew gum in class. Miss Smith is sending us out of the room. Our classes end like a burst bubble. Did you like the weird ways of how to sneak food into class? Then write in your comments where do you like to stash candies away from your teacher's sharp eyes. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell. Tingling means that a survival training class on Troom Troom is going to begin.